Hey guys, so this is the Financial Gamer here. So we're gonna go be playing um, Super Mario World. Is it Super Mario Brothers or Super Mario World? Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna be, I got to this level, uh, Roy's Castle, Castle number five. And yeah, let's go. So I'm looking at the time limit to, do I start at 300 seconds? So, oh uh, wait, I remember this, oh uh, man, this is one of the harder ones. Uh, I wish I had the cape, because at least the cape you can float if you're falling, but whatever, I mean, this is a challenge. You know what, a lot of current games don't have challenge, good, good, like, difficulty like this anymore. Well, like Dark Souls games and you know the From Software games, they had better. They had, they're more challenging. I felt like that's where they got their formula: is old school Super NES games and NES games. Because those games, you didn't have. Every time you lose, you start off at the beginning, and there's a, and there's very limited um, lives on those games. Okay, yeah, I really wish I had- Oh, freak. I really, really wish I had one, uh, the cape. Hopefully, I can- Oh, so watch out for those cones. If, it, if one of the cones is discolored, a different color shade, then it's gonna fall. Let me see. I think I could carry this and go up here. Oh, yes! Oh, freak! See, it, it, it sets you up. These games set you up to, to die. It really does. Kind of like the Dark Souls games. I think that's really where the formula for from software games is they took like the formula of old school NES or Super NES games and just transitioned into the current um, games we have now, which is um, limited lives, when you die, there's no save points, you know, or hardly any save points, like it, it makes you actually play the game, see right there, see, you have to know when that thing goes up and down like that, the, the, the patterns. So it's actually a game, because what is a game, right? A game is a game is pattern is trying trying to solve patterns, puzzles. And most current games don't do that anymore. They just like you just play, you just press random buttons, and they and they have waypoints where you're supposed to go. There's less exploration and less problem solving. It's just like an, an interactive movie. Where you just follow um, a, a set point, I would say. Okay, here we go. So, right here, right here. Okay, oh shit. Be careful for the... Let me just press this. Ah, oh, shoot, dude! What the heck? Yeah, it is more challenging with starting with small Mario because you only have one... One life. If you really want to play Super Mario Brothers, try to play this whole game with just small Mario. Don't try not to get any power-ups. It really changes the dynamic of the game.
see you know what those things get stuck on that they get stuck you have to pan you have to beat them because if if one of the, those fireballs gets stuck in this little fucking whatever it is i don't even i don't even know what they're called this uh, moving block moving blocks or maybe oh my god Jesus Christ. Okay, wait. Alright, let's see. Comment below on what do you think is more harder, from software games or like, see, oh my gosh, you would think that was gonna bounce back, bounce, but it went through. See, this is literally, trying to play this game on small Mario with just one life really changes the dynamic of the game. It really does. Like, you get the same feeling of playing Dark Souls. Or like, what do you call it? What's the genre? Dark uh, Souls-like games, because you only get one life. And it's all repeating, repeating, repeating. See, right there, how it went... Come on, man. See? See, I'm getting the same frustration as playing a Souls-like game. Or Dark Souls. Or Elden Ring, like that one, the the levels in Elden Ring where you get that the spike rollers, the dungeon with the with the with the cylinder spike rollers that you have to go through the corridors and it just goes back and forth and you try to avoid it. I'm getting that same feeling right now in this in this level. Okay, wait. Right. Oh, come on, man. If I don't pass, if I don't, if I don't pass this one time, I'm going to just go and try to level up Mario or at least get a couple power ups. See, that one bounced back. See? It's random. It's really random. Because that one stayed. And the other one just went through. Watch out for those falling spikes. Okay. Wait. Okay, right here. Alright, so I suggest not to press this because if you press this you're gonna get that you're gonna re you're gonna release you're gonna turn those blocks into oh my god so you're gonna turn those blocks and then should I no let's just keep going no power-ups on this game Oh, okay. That one stayed. Watch out for the falling blocks. 
or the falling spikes, whatever. That one there. Okay, watch that one there. Okay. Okay. All right. You gotta be careful. Be freaking careful. Set you up. It, this thing sets you up for failure, dude. See right there. It really sets you up for failure. It does. Cause when you when you try to go for it, it makes you want to stay in that middle lane. And if you stay in that middle lane, that fireball is gonna come towards you. So what do you do? That's like it, it baits you. It really does bait you. Kinda like fucking Dark Souls. So either you go for the bait or you just go with it with one life and make it easier for you. So it really does. There's like sacrif there's like critical thinking, critical choices you need to be making in order to say, hey, like should I go for the power up? But it might trap me or not go for it and just be confident enough to win the game or win or beat the level without any power-ups so okay here we go all right there you go see right here See, if I move a little bit forward, boom, the fireball comes back. See, oh my god, dude. Even, like, if you don't even try to go for that, for the, for that, it, the fireball will still come. Oh my god, there's two fireballs. Ah! Finally! So I wonder what this does. Let's see. Wait, how did this guy do it? Does he do the whole spinning? Oh, okay! The fucking shit. The, the, the walls move. Okay, so the goal is, let's see, wait for him to go, boom, that's like the perfect place to pounce on him. There it is, guys. Finally. So, yeah, that's like one of the main pro like, it's, it's problem solving. It's like basically, should you go for the power up and make it, make your life harder? Or just have confidence, just don't even go for it, but make it easier. The pathway will become easier. I don't know, but yeah, so I feel like that's what current games are. It just doesn't give you that aspect. Well, like from software games, it does. Because, you know, like some like Elden Ring or uh, Dark Souls, 
there's many pathways. Like you can go for the power up, but it's going to be harder for you because it baits you. There's baits and then there's traps and blah, 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 all that stuff. So it kind of gives you critical thinking and say, hey, should, should I go for it or not? But it makes your life harder, blah, blah, blah. And so. But there's games that are like just, oh, just more reaction times, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, so that concludes the Super Mario Brothers uh, gameplay on beating Roy's castle. Probably one of the harder castles because of just that that puzzle or that level um but yeah so until next time we're gonna start here on chocolate island now and yeah so again don't forget to subscribe and like and leave comments on how did you beat that level all right thanks guys